Honda Civic 2004 Coupe. My new paramotor won't fit in the front seat without me having to like lay it down on its side or something. And that would re make it rest on the engine exhaust or the uh, air intake. So I'm gonna take out the front seat. The pros of transporting the motor in your car was it was the ultimate co-pilot and it wouldn't get dirty or rained on or anything. Uh, the cons were it would smell like gas in the car unless you cracked the windows and the teardown and setup was time consuming and got old quick. So in order to carry around your paramotor on the back of your car, you need to buy two things. You need to buy a hitch which bolts to the under frame of your car and you need to buy a cargo basket which connects into the hitch which is the actual platform that the motor sits on. I bought this Kurt hitch. My initial observations were that the hitch itself, it was sturdy, it's a solid piece of metal, it's not flimsy. Um, and it was a little lighter in weight than the actual cargo basket. Um, compared to the cargo basket, the hitch was expensive. Mine was 148 bucks, uh, brand new. I got it off Amazon. The install took me about an hour and a half or so. It was easy, it was satisfying. I took my time, didn't know what I was doing, but just worked my way through the directions. I did not have to jack up the car to install it. I just put some uh, cardboard down and on, and I went underneath the back on of the car on my back. Um, and I used uh, like a, a a really premium version of like a WD-40 uh, that I found on Amazon that I spray around the bolts and stuff to fight against corrosion. Um, maybe that's a little overkill. And then also one last observation is. Um, I was able to install it my, my, myself, you know, so that is, that, that is possible. And also, once you crank down the bolts with your hands to get the, the uh, hitch to stay up there, you got to go back and get a torque wrench because they, they want these bolts to be really tight. You crank down the bolts really, really tightly. Like, I thought I was going to bust something or, like, damage the frame of my car or something, but the torque that these things require is really, really high. They want that hitch to be, like, a solid connection to, to your car, so that should be really secure. So just an FYI going into that. The long parts here because I can't turn it any further if I force it over. Now I can't turn it that way. Can't turn it that way, so the long part's there. Long part's supposed to be in the back, so the long part's right there. But I want to start talking about the basket. I got a Kurt cargo basket. There's many different versions that you could buy. I'm sure they're all made in the same place and do the exact same thing. Go figure. So uh, this basket I got for uh, like 71 bucks after tax. I got it used on Amazon. Um, I liked it because it was a small basket. I didn't want something hanging out the sides of my car. I wanted it, it to be within the profile of the car. Um, so it was like one of the smallest ones that I could find. Um, it was cheap, like I said, because I got, I got it used. There are these little circles, like these open uh, like hole punches around the outside of the basket where you can hook in your toe straps so I could secure the motor uh, to the edges of the basket. So that was nice. And one other thing that I like is, you'll see at the end of the video, there uh, when I have the paramotor on the car, it blocks my license plate. So... I haven't got pulled over by the cops for this or anything. Most people are just intrigued by the paramotor. But, you know, if you run through a red light or something or there's a red light camera or blah, 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 
uh, they don't get you. So stick it to the man. Um, this uh, basket uh, comes up off the back of the car, so it's not straight level. So it's it's raised, right? And that's actually a, a, a good thing. But the basket does not sit flat. It's got a slight angle to it. There's a little uh, like like a bump, like a ridge, right in the middle of the basket, so that your paramotor is always tilting to the left or to the right. It's never sitting totally flat on the surface of the basket. The basket's a little bit flimsy, like I can move it left to right and up and down. Um, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. Maybe I'm, I'll go check the tightness of all my bolts and stuff, but it seems like it's not as secure as the hitch to the car. There's, there's more play with it. So um, again, I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I, I would prefer it to be a little more sturdy. So number three, there's no built-in reflectors. I had to go buy those off Amazon, just put those little white stickers on it. When you put the, when you slide the mail part into the, uh, into the hitch, you have to put this pin in. Well, the pin has to be, it's, it's like a big screw. So you gotta screw the thing in with your hand all the way, and that's a little bit time consuming. It's not just sliding it in and putting the little uh, clipper pin in there so that, so that the uh, pin doesn't come out. It's, it takes a little bit of a process. So not sure why they did that, but that's just a little time consuming.